Hi, I'm Hunter Allen with the Peaks Coaching Group, and this is your Thursday tip. You know, I've talked a little bit about chronic training load. I've talked a little bit um, about the performance manager chart. Let's talk a little bit about the ATL, the acute training load. What is ATL and what does that mean? And how do you use it? So ATL is the acute training load. It's the training load that you've done in the last seven to 14 days. So last week and this week, and that's really what acute training load is about. It's really how sore you feel and how tired you feel right now. So if you've done a ton of training in the past three or four days or this past weekend and you're tired and sore right now, that's because your acute training load is high. Okay, so you go to a training camp, you kick butt at a big training camp, get a thousand TSS that week. Your normal weekly TSS is 500, so you double the amount of training that you normally do. Your acute training load is gonna be straight through the roof. Okay. Now, what you need to be careful of is making sure that when you're, you need to watch that acute training load because when it does go through the roof, you need to make sure that you rest and you give yourself a break afterwards. You can't just keep that acute training load going because eventually you're gonna crack, you're gonna get sick, something's gonna happen, you might get injured, you're gonna start to fall apart. That's just normal, right? We have to have periods of time to recover. So acute training load is important. We also need to understand acute training load. There's a constant that we use for acute training load and we call that the ATL constant. And we can change that so that it's seven days or three days or 10 days or 14 days. And that shifts how the, what we call training stress balance. And I have a video on training stress balance, so watch that one. And how that training stress balance really adjusts and tells you when you're fresh or not. So if you recover really fast, you need to set your ATL constant around three or four, all right? Maybe even two. Now, if you recover normally, right, around seven, seven days. If you are a little bit older, you need to recover. Maybe it takes you 10 days to recover. When you get past 65, it probably need to put that out at 14 days, okay? That's just our body just doesn't recover quite as fast as it did when we were 20 years old or even younger, right? So that's what you need to worry about, not really worry about, but be aware of in acute training load. That's acute training load. It's the current, basically the fatigue that you feel today in the last seven days, 14 days of training. I'm Hunter Allen, Peaks Coaching Group. Check us out. You know, we have amazing coaches. We have incredible coaches that really help you understand all these metrics and more to make sure that your peak of fitness happens exactly when you want it. Thanks a lot.